Everybody, Holly here from Holiday Any Day. Today we're outside in the outdoor kitchen because it's such a beautiful day here in San Diego. And we're gonna make flank steak. And it's a flank steak I've made forever and ever and ever and ever. And actually the other day I had to actually make it and figure out the actual amounts for each, um, each ingredient because we always just kind of throw it in there. So this is kind of a rough idea. So it's sort of teriyaki-esque. So we're gonna start with some brown sugar. And for the whole recipe, of course, it's on the website. Dark, light, doesn't make a difference. Soy sauce. A little bit of water. And a little bit of regular old mustard. You could use Dijon if you just had Dijon. I just have always used yellow. Now with my dad, he makes this and he puts garlic in it too. But I don't know. This is really simple and easy. So we're just gonna break up the clumps of the brown sugar. And it's just, it just, it just works so yummy on the flank steak. It just gives it kind of a nice, crispy, sweet edge. So that's that for that. Now, let's get a Pyrex. Now flank steaks are usually somewhere between a pound and a half and two pounds. They just kind of come that size. So we're gonna take this little dude, put him in here. And once again, I've always done this. We just poke him a bit with a fork to tenderize him a little bit more. Flank steak is super lean. So I guess it's healthy, huh? <laughs> and it's also real thin, so it's super easy to cook. It's gonna be real fast. So give him some pokey holes. Okay, there we are. Then let's just pour the marinade over him. And I've always done it in a, in a nine by 12. Uh, I'd probably be fine to do it in a Ziploc. We just wanna make sure it's nice and coated. Then I usually will plop them around a few times. Let's get rid of that. Cause it's almost, be, be, with all of that brown sugar in there, it's a little bit, kind of thick syrupy, right? Okay, so we'll do that a few times. And then I usually then kind of scoop up some and put it over the top. As you can see, see there's a little bit, I guess it's viscous or what the word would be. It's not just, um, just liquid because it's got that sugar in there. Okay, now you notice we didn't add any salt because of course the soy sauce has tons of salt. So what we're gonna do with this I have done this as short as perhaps maybe two hours on the counter, but the best would be to put it in your fridge overnight. I happen to have made one already yesterday, so we're gonna cook that one today. Okay, so here's the flank steak that I marinated overnight. Let me show you why, why it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of, a, well, like I said, it's good if you do it for a couple hours, but overnight, you just get this little caramelization along the edge. Look how it's almost candied or cooked a little bit. Okay, let's oil our grill. Then we'll let it drip off. Oh, there we are. Okay. Since it is so thin and I did let it sit out for about an hour out of the fridge, this is probably gonna take three minutes aside. So let's close the lid and we'll come back in three minutes and check them out. Okay, it's been about eh, three, four minutes. Let's see how he looks. Mmm, look at that caramelization around the edges. OMG. And look, he pulls right off. Oh, well, hello. That's Gorge. Check that out. Okay, we'll give him a couple more minutes. Sure. Okay, it's been about another three, four minutes, and it smells divine. Divine, I cannot wait. Check this out. Mmm. The, the brown sugar. sugar and all this yummy caramelization around the edges. Oh, 
to die for. So we're going to put it on the board. Okay, see it didn't hardly stick. And we're going to put it on the board. And then we want to tent it like we always do for a good five minutes till we cut it. Okay, I allowed the steak to rest for about five, six, seven minutes. I've plated it on a nice little board, which is a fun way to present it, with some grilled asparagus, some grilled new potatoes, and I think I'm just gonna grab this little in piece because it looks so juicy and yummy. Mmm. 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 That brown sugar gets all crispy and sweet on the ends. Mmm, that's so good. You gotta try this. Mmm. Mmm. That's fabulous. And so simple, so easy. Mm. It's easy breezy.